Today we're starting in the town of Bampton. We're going over the hills to Exbridge, then round to Brushford, and then we follow the River Baal up to Dolverton. I'm back in the town of Bampton in Devon and this is the main street where we finished our last section of this walk. We're now heading northwards towards Dulverton. There's a memorial here to the little steam engine that used to run along the railway line that went uh, up to Bampton, closed in 1963. At the top of the village is the war memorial and we read that is memory of 41 people of the parish who gave their lives in the Great War and beneath that we have names from the Second War. We're now heading up a little lane out of Bampton up the hill We're just half a mile from the town and we're now walking along the side of these fields. In front of us it dips right down and then climbs back up again and that's the path we're taking alongside that hedgerow. I seem to have become a shepherd. Well we've climbed that steep field and we're looking back now from the way we've come. Well, just a mile and a quarter from our start, I'm presented with these wonderful panoramic views of the mid hills of Devon. I must say, although we've only been going for 45 minutes, this is really a tremendously enjoyable walk. Hello there. Off you go. Come on then. Hey. The path has now brought us out onto this little country lane, still surrounded by these fields, open views. An interesting building on this road junction, this would have been a toll house in the old days when tolls were charged for using the roads. Passing some lovely parkland here and a lake over there, really carefully looked after. The sign says Lakeside Lodges, Holdy Lodges available. This looks like a splendid base if you're intending to explore Mid-Devon. We're just two and a half miles from the start and we're now passing the rather inviting looking Anchor Inn. And the signboard tells us that we're just leaving the county of Devon and crossing into the county of Somerset. As we do so we cross the River X again. A couple of chaps down there fishing. What a picturesque spot. We're coming up on a derelict cottage, once somebody's home, but the roof is off, the walls are coming apart and it's completely overgrown. Just wonder what sort of people live there, what sort of lives they had. A bit more of the building down here to the right. 
three and a half miles from our starting point in Bampton. We're heading down directly ahead to that small village. I've just come to the village of Brushford and this is the parish church. Outside on the wall we have a memorial to the late John Gooding Gent who died the second day of February 1774. And then we've got Mary beneath that, his wife. Along a footpath from the church itself is the larger graveyard. There are some memorials in the churchyard but just uh, 50 feet away is this area. number of houses here in the village but many of them hidden by high hedges. Good sized parish hall for a village. At just over four miles we're crossing this river but this is not the River X, this is the River Baal and we're going to be alongside it for a little while now. And this is a view from the other side of the bridge. Well, we're walking across open fields. I notice there's a tractor coming towards us. We haven't seen much on the path today. Don't think we've seen any other people for the whole way so far, except when we got to little villages. This is another view of the River Baal. Not often you see that sign. Nice looking house with rather a lot of lawn. This is the Congregational Church, still in use, and the date at the top is 1831. So we're getting close to 200 years old. The building there that looks rather like a mill is labelled now Dolverton Laundry. Well, we're in the town centre of Dolverton. I've walked exactly six miles from Bampton. Quite a few ups and downs over the fields, but a delightful walk. The town seems to be suffering a little bit from far too many cars trying to park. At the top of the village stands the magnificent parish church. And I'll probably do a separate video about that. So that's the end of this section of the X Valley Way, one of the best. And if you do do it, well there is a bus that runs two or three times a day from Dolverton back to Bampton. So it's a, you can do it as a walk out one way and bus back the other. Till the next time.